Uh, before I open up for questions, I'll I'll say this about uh, Demar Hamlin. Um, man, it's a really personal thing for me, uh, being a Pittsburgher, and, and that young man being a Pittsburgher. I've known that guy probably since he was about 12. Um, just got a lot of res respect and love for him as a human being. Um, his commitment to the pursuit of his uh, goals and dreams of doing what it is he's doing right now, which is playing in the NFL. And to watch him make personal decisions and, and, and make that a realization, um, it's just an honor to get to know young people like that. I um, had an opportunity to express that to him whenever I see him. We've played Buffalo um, each of the last two seasons, and he and I get to have a moment. Um, because it's just cool to, to, to not only appreciate these guys in terms of where they are now, but to, to know them since they were younger people and to, to watch their maturation, their development, to watch them, um, you know, earn what they've been chasing. Um, it's just really a, a cool thing. And he's an example of that. I got a lot of love for that young man. We lifted he, him and that organization up in prayer, um, reached out to Sean McDermott to lend whatever assistance I could. Um, but um, I don't have a lot to add other than that. Um, I just respect the fact that you guys appreciate how personal it is for, for me, not only for me, but just for all of us um, as people that, that thrive in this space. Um, that's not obviously something that you ever want to see. Again, Mike Tomlin talking about Damar Hamlin, we're back on PFT Live, presented by Google Pixel. Learn more at googlestore.com. And we appreciate everyone sticking with us yesterday and today as we work our way through this. Damar Hamlin grew up in McKees Rocks, a suburb of Pittsburgh, went to Pittsburgh Central Catholic High School, chose to stay at Pitt. Tyler Dunn of golongtd.com did a story about Damar Hamlin last year, and part of it delved into his decision to stay in the area, he's got a very young brother, a seven-year-old brother, and he wanted to be there to provide an example for him, to be around for him, to help mentor his brother. And that's why he stayed at the University of Pittsburgh. So very deep ties to the Pittsburgh area and now Buffalo and uh, uh, great comments from Mike Tomlin. But just an illustration, you know, 10 years goes by like that. Goes you know, you go from a, a little boy running around and then all of a sudden you're a grown man playing in the NFL. And uh, Mike Tomlin's been there every step of the way to see the growth and the maturity and the development of DeMar Hamlin. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, Mike Tomlin's awesome. We know that. We talk about him all the time. He couldn't have said it much better right there. Um, he is a guy that I know, you know, firsthand, and, and I know firsthand that he cares about people as about as much as anybody I've ever been around. That's why... His teams always fight for him and always battle back because he shows them, yeah, you know, they know that he's in the foxhole with them and he's their buddy. And yeah, he might yell at them and expect more, but they know that he's got their back. And that's that's the beauty of Mike Tomlin. He's awesome that way. And uh, I'm sure this did hit home. You know, he's he's got he's got kids. He understands that. And as like a professional and especially in football, when it comes to that sport and how hard it is to make it, it just it hurts you extra when you go, wait, here's kid who did everything right. You know, young man, you know, now now a grown man and still doing everything right. And everything's going in the right direction. And then it's just poof, the world gets blown up for that that guy. That's that's what makes it even harder. A young man who's you know at the pinnacle and things have, you know, really shook out in a way to where he's succeeding in life and starting to take advantage of you know some of those opportunities. And now you know, it it, it all goes to the the back seat here, and we just we just hope he lives and survives. I mean that's where we're at, and I think that's where it's just you know it's extra jarring when it, you talk about a young man who's kind of living his dream and then see that get crushed. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.